Ladies and gentlemen, we come now to three rounds in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of no wins and one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of France, Nicolas Old. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist who is unbeaten with a record of one and oh. He stands five feet nine inches tall and also weighed in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Cardiff, Wales, Simon the Messiah, Maximovich. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. And Rich Mitchell is gonna be in charge of the fight. We're gonna see now. It's both fighters getting ready. And we are underway. It's gonna be interesting to see how Nicholas Ott, if he's gonna set the pace in. Masumovic is gonna have the home support, but Nicholas Ott straight away with those leg kicks. But oh. then gets counted viciously by Masumovic. Yeah, Masumovic really showing that, showing that power in his hands. But is clinching up against the cage here. Masimovic looking for that takedown, perhaps. Yeah, and you could see Ott really surprised just by the velocity of that punch. And doing well now, just managed to get composed, Nicholas. Turns his opponent to the cage, but still, Masimovic still looking like he's got the upper hand. Yeah, Masimovic got a really good posture here, defending the takedown attempt from Ott very well. Ott's got to be careful, he's giving him his neck there. Yeah, looks very, very tight. He needs to defend that immediately. Great base there by Masimovic as Ott just gets out of trouble and tries to regain position with his back against the fence. Yeah, and Ott really on his on his back foot in the in the first minute here of the of the very first round. Looking for a guillotine there, but Masimovic just gets out of it, just grinding him against the fence right now. Yeah, you Good see here Masimovic yeah. looking for that head position, gets caught almost in a guillotine again though. Needs to be aware of that, keep his head out of it. Uh, out of harm's way. Yeah, I think lucky enough there for the Teleri combat man, his head was just too high, easy enough just to push and then try and regain position, but Ott's done very well after being surprised early on in this first round, Nicholas. Yeah, and here he gets the takedown, short double leg, gets uh, Masimovic to the to the mat, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how Ott is going to, to fare from here. Masimovic has got that, almost had that guillotine attempt in, Kind of trying to, to lock up down here. It's gonna be a gonna be a fight for Masimovic to, to try and wall walk, use a, the link fence of, of the cage here to get on his feet again, if that's what he wants to do. A great composure by Up. You know, he's just waiting for an opportunity. Good move by Masimovic just to stand up there, but he's gotta be careful because he's making his back here. Yeah. But he's he's got that very strong right uh, overhook here, Wissa. And he's uh, keeping Ott away from that. Almost about to get taken down there, but uh, Maximovic really showing his, his pure physical strength. Yeah, definitely. And, but, but Ott there, you know, just making it uncomfortable for him. Just pushing him against the fence now. Some nice knees there. Nicholas, we saw Ott throw some leg kick to the start. Should he step back? Maybe just try and give Maximovic something to think about? He could do that, but it seems like he's, he's, he's feeling very secure here in the, in, in the clinch, and he, he did get that takedown earlier, and uh, especially after feeling that power right hand of Maximovic, I, I can totally understand if he just wants to get this to the ground. Yeah, maybe once been or twice shy, as uh, Ott just tries to uh, make his opponent there uncomfortable, some small strikes as Maximovic looked to get a tight clinch, but then yeah. Ott returns to favour. Yeah, and Ott really dominating the clinch here so far. Maximovic not getting run over completely, but it's it's Art who's who's dominating him and pushing him up against the cage, and he gets that. Or was almost about to get that double leg takedown. Gets almost gets Maximovic down. And now he's trying to probably pass guard. Got to be get careful top of that head, Nicholas. And again, Nicholas Art goes for the neck, tries to pass Maximovic's guard, but stop. In a bad position now as Nicholas Art throws down some strikes, some nice hammer fist. Yeah. Rich Mitchell there warning against holding the fence several times now. Yeah, that's not, that's not a, a good move. Can't grab the fence, of course. That was an odd moment there by Ott. 
<laughs> gets wobbled by a couple of strikes right there. But it goes back to what's been doing him really well in this fight so far, working against the fence. Yeah, really, this is where Art has shined so far in this fight. Maximovich had a couple of sequences on, on, on the feet in the striking exchanges. We really put the pressure on, and that made Art try and clinch up, and that's what we've seen ever since. And a guard pull there by Maximovich. Yeah, who's got a strong hold of uh, Art's head, and he's trying to look for that uh, guillotine take. Guillotine uh, submission, sorry. In full guard right now. Yeah. Might be struggling for a bit of leverage there against the fence. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get it from this position, but he's really got a tight grip on that neck. So maybe if he can adjust the position, let's go over there. Maybe he could have gotten it if he got to adjust the position, but very difficult indeed for guard. Is it wise, though, just to call it quits from there and say, OK, I'm not going to get it. Let's see what else I can do. And Art lands a kick and Masimovich there. Yeah. Maybe not quite wise trying to stand up from that position. And, uh, and that's the end of the first round, Nicholas. And that's a very intriguing round. That's a moment of the start. Floors off with a you know, powerful strike. And as we're going into the replay now, and as you can see right now, here's Art with the leg kicks, and then bang, yeah. gets floored with a straight right. And Masamovic went for the kill, but couldn't quite get there. And Art done very well to defend it. And him to see again, because another uh, to, uh, an attempt yeah, right Ma there. Maximovic really threatening a lot of times with these uh, strong guillotines but couldn't quite get the submission. Uh, he really took his, I think he really took his, his eye off the ball at the end of that round. It's kind of sloppy, he stood up, I almost expected to say, well, nothing's going to happen. The fight was still active and Art showing a lot of uh, ring generalship there. Taking his opportunity, bang, 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 with several strikes. Yeah. Amazing, uh, I, I would score this uh, this round for, uh, first round for Art. It's, uh, I, I wouldn't want to score this round at all, Nicholas. So <laughs> you can put your head out there and do that. And uh, I'm going to stay here and, and call the action as we start round two. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Nicholas, Ott, just a little bit more tentative. Yeah. Yeah, he has to be tired after that first round, right? Really using his uh, his energy to, to keep Maximov down. But uh, again here, Maximov early in the round, connecting with that right hand. Yeah, and again, and again attacking Ott. It, it's worth noting that Ott would be a natural 145er, in my opinion. Fine at lightweight, took the fight on slightly late notice. But you know, he's in tremendous shape, but might not want to necessarily test the power of the, of the bigger man. Yeah, and that's that's what we're seeing whenever Maximov, he, uh, he, he's throwing strikes. He, he connects and he has a uh, more power. But uh, again, we saw here Art coming back with some very heavy low kicks. And Maximov uh, seems kind of tenative as well. Maybe he, uh, yeah, Maximov he spent too much energy in the first round. Yeah, it definitely looks that like both men are coming out uh, a lot more tentative. Maximov is looking for that sort of more powerful one-hit strike. Yeah. Whereas Art oh, seems to be content now just to try and pepper him a little bit more. You can see he's just, he's just hitting air. He's a Tulare combat fighter. Yeah. What I'd like to see from Art here in the striking exchanges, especially, is to try and keep his chin down. You see his posture. He's, when he takes the punches, he takes it in a very bad way. As you can just see right there, when he takes the right hand, he doesn't get, like, rocked from it, but he just gets thrown out of balance. Mm. And because, but Master is there. Sorry to interrupt you, Nicholas. Just took an opportunity, landed a few strikes. Art just kind of took his foot off the pedal, just sort of, you know, Drifting into all automatic and uh, landing. You can see him now looking to his corner. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, looking for advice. I wouldn't say he's necessarily troubled a lot by the all round game of Masamovic, but if he's not careful, he, he's definitely going to get hurt by the striking. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he did get back in the clinch, as we can see now. Ott, he had dominated the whole first round, more or less, in the clinch. But he's definitely struggling to get that takedown. And he's digging deep right now, but he's just landing. Yeah. He's just leaving himself open for strife. Good leg trip, though, there, Nicholas. Yeah, really smooth takedown there from uh, Nicholas Art. Uh, Maximo is, though, though showing his, his great physical strength. Kept that takedown off for a long time. Couldn't defend it in the end, though. Here we got Nicholas Art on top of uh, Maximo. Maximo is there, just managing to get, to get, trying to get his guard. Uh, not making. Um, too much of an effort to push for it. Just trying to regain position. Might want to go and push away against the fence as he starts to try and climb through that guard, Nicholas. 
Yeah, especially if you're like uh, Sama Maximovic and, and you're dominating the fight on the feet, you'd want to get on your feet very fast again. So I'd like to see him try and come back to the cage and utilize that to wall walk up on his feet. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's what maybe just just lit you know, Nicholas oh, into a very advantageous position. Yeah. And you can see he you know, wrapped his arm around his neck, he was given him choices whether he was going to go, I thought, for a moment for a submission. But he just seems quite content right now. And Masimovic is just throwing this round away. Absolutely. I, I, he, he needs to get back on his feet. He's, he had the most success in the striking exchanges and art, as we saw in the first round. Had maybe the better man in the grappling. And he can kind of negate that uh, size disadvantage that art has better on the ground than on the feet. You know, yeah, yeah, definitely, and like, you know, you got you got to wonder what Ott's all-round game could be at his full potential when he's sitting there training and teaching uh, alongside, you know, world-class athletes at MMA Factory. Yeah, and he's showing that, you know, experience right now. He didn't get faced from uh, getting a knockdown in the first round. Now he's actually fighting his way back, and uh, it looks to be uh, dominating the second round. Yeah, clearly, Neil barely straight into full mount there, Nicholas. Yeah. And Maximov doesn't really seem to have uh, an answer to the grappling of, uh, of Nicholas Ott, who is just pounding away on his opponent right now from the mount position here. And, and Ott's taking his time. He's quite methodical here. You know, he's defending attempt there by yeah. Maximovic to, to get out of his position. And Ott looks very comfortable. 30 seconds. He's going to have to work very hard, the Welsh, the Welsh Space Fighter, to get out of this. Yeah, we can see... Uh, He's sliding around here to the back, getting that uh, triangle across the stomach of Maximovic. It really puts a lot of pressure and makes it hard for him to breathe. And it's going to be interesting to see if he can uh, finish it. Ten, with, uh, seconds, ten seconds left. And I think he might just see out this round, but it really has been a dominant round by the Frenchman. <laughs> and what a turnaround in the, early in the first round. Masimovic looked like he was going to finish off the second round very different. And here we see the replays right now. And again, Nicholas Ott gets rocked. Trading strikes. He really shouldn't be doing this. But as you can see, this one again, straight one down the pipe, Nicholas. Yeah, and you, and you can see his posture is all wrong. He's got the chin up in his air. So every time he gets hit, he gets rocked backwards. And you can see in the replays, the tight turn later on in the round. Nicholas Ott landing good strikes. Looking there for the submission, didn't quite get it. Yeah. You've, you've got a fancy him now, a favorite him as he goes in around three. Yeah, Art really showing his uh, his advantage in, in the grappling sequences. He, he's way better than uh, Simon Maximov when it comes to the mat. So that's going to be his uh, his plan for the third round. You know, what do you do when you when you enter the third round as Maximovic? Possibly two rounds down, or maybe. Or maybe even you'd had a bad round, you're tired. I mean, do you change things up or you just, just sit with what you know and hope that that's going to see you through? Well, it of course depends on, on, on the fight. Like against a guy like uh, Nicholas Art, I'll try and use my striking and keep it on the feet. We saw in the, in the first round that uh, once uh, Simon Maximov, Maximovic, sorry, he, uh, he tacked him, he kind of shot in for the clinch immediately after that and that kind of negated the advantage he created by uh, by knocking him down and straight away nicholas Ott tries to fire a leg kick massimovic catches it yeah. for the first time and then lands a good counter right and again Ott, you, you saw his eyes you knew that that stunned him and massimovic though tries to follow up but again he's just let up yeah get back in there so massimovic really needs to be careful that he doesn't go into the clinch immediately after his punches because he's got the advantage in the striking and um, getting tied up in the clinch after he connects really hard punches is just giving Nicholas, ta Nicholas Art uh, time to, to recover. Exactly, and, but in, conversely, he's standing there now in a straight line, allowing himself to get his lead leg kicked away, and there's still enough time in this round for that to really do some damage. Yeah, that absolutely is. And Ott just growing in confidence now. His lead hand out there, just giving the Teleri combat fighter saying to think about again landing these leg kicks very sharp circling away Nicholas looking very good yeah Art really showing that experience advantage that he might have over Simon Maximovic he yeah, really yeah. seems comfortable in, in, in the cage here yeah this is a man who's fought in Las Vegas with the IMAF World Amateur Championships in 2015 
Yeah, he caught a high-level guys there. And then, although he's, his opponent, Simon Masonovic, is for very, uh, very good guys in the domestic amateur ranks in the UK, I kind of feel that that is going to play in Alt's favour as he shoots in there for a takedown. And a good sprawl there by, by his opponent. He's looking at there, just trying to isolate their head. And uh, just trying to throw him off, off course a little bit. Gets back into the fence, looks for that takedown. Yeah. And here we again see, yeah, Art trying for that takedown. Maximovich, really strong, defensive very well. But if it plays out, plays out as in the previous rounds, Nicholas Art is going to get this takedown eventually. Yeah, there is a lot of pressure from the Frenchman. Yeah. And you could see... And Maximovich really utilizing some good elbows here. Nicholas Art absolutely has to be, uh, be careful for those. Yeah, Maximovich must know, you know, he needs to finish right now. Halfway through the round, yeah, you know, he's letting. Oh, I still think this, you could steal rounds like this, where you're just pushing your opponent back. You know, it's never good, I think, to be on the back foot in MMA. You're against the fence. You're prone for a takedown. He really now needs surely to try and step away. To try and can, yeah. What would you say he should do in this position? Well, Maximovich absolutely needs to try and, and, and turn out from the cage. So every time he feels that Art's uh, pressure is is on in a in an off angle, he needs to try and, and push himself away and rotate to get off the cage and then immediately follow up with punches. But Art is really deep in on his, on his takedown attempt, so it's going to be really difficult to, to pivot out. And he's, as you can see, he's, he's getting hold of the legs. And Maximovich got a really bad posture though, but Maximovich not doing enough to, to get off the cage here. Yeah, he, I think that needs to be his first focus, doesn't it? Get away from the cage. Yeah. Don't worry about these strikes, trying to break it that way. Yeah. You know, I'm sure these elbows are hurting. I wouldn't like to be hit by them, but a professional athlete like this, he knows there can only be a minute or so left in the round. He's just trying to grind out the victory, and there you go, there's the takedown. Yeah. And is that Nicholas Dalby a winning takedown for Nicholas Ott right there? It could be. It very well might be, because... Uh, He's been dominating the third round and the second round, so Reason even though Maximovich... And, and with less than a minute to go, Nicholas Art is given away position. Maximovich now trying to work at the side, and he's got, again, the neck. Nicholas Art has been quite sloppy with, the, with his neck in the round, in the whole fight, actually, several times he's given it. And now he's finding himself on the back foot as we enter the end of the round. Absolutely, Max Maximovich is really good at gra grabbing that leg and, and trying to squeeze those guillotines. So 20 Ott, seconds to go, Nicholas. Yeah. Both fighters back on the feet. <laughs> Nicholas Ott trying with a spinning back kick there. Yeah, I think there you can tell on the, uh, the, the look of uh, Maximovich's face that that didn't bother him, and I think almost content. But I think he's he's running on empty right now. The Frenchman just knows that. And, you can see Masumovic trying to go on the attack. Yeah. But Nicholas Ott just having just that one half step ahead. Yeah, I totally agree. And there, was it. there you go, there's our first professional battle of the night. And an interesting uh, three rounds. Nicholas Ott yeah. did very well, I think, to come back from a bad start in the first. And uh, I think we can both agree he's probably done enough. Absolutely, but but still uh, a very good back and forth battle between the striking and the grappling in this uh, in this fight here. You saw Maximovich a bit more physically strong, perhaps against a bit more technical, a uh, bit more technical uh, Nicholas Art. And he saw Nicholas Art, a sloppy leg kick, and he nearly paid for it as Maximovich landed the big right hand. And later on in the round, again he goes for the shoot. Well schooled there by Maximovich, Nicholas. And again, Nicholas Ott going for the takedown. This is really the pattern of the fight. But you can see he's leaving his neck there. And right at the, at the end of the fight, you can see Nicholas Ott in a little bit of trouble. And credit to Masimovic to try and get that uh, position and, and try and look to win the fight when he was clearly fatigued. But uh, the Frenchman saw out the, saw out the fight. And uh, I thought that was a very good performance by, by, yeah, by both Nicholas Ott, but by also by both men. Yeah, both fighters just trying to finish the fight at all times. Very, very good performance. That's handy, sir. Uh, as you see, Andy Freelander in the cage as he goes and announce the official result.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29-27, 29-27 and 29-28 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Nicola Old. And there we have it, our winner, Nicola Ott, by decision. His first win as a pro, a hard-fought victory, and he should be pretty pleased with that performance overall. Absolutely, it was, it was a you know, really hard-fought decision victory here. He, uh, he got rocked early in the first round, but came back.